Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me express my gratitude to the organizers of this symposium, which provide us with a good opportunity to exchange views on the crucial issues on the regional agenda. Uh, I must say that uh, I share a lot of, uh, I would say, many uh, conclusions, if I may say so, uh, made by my colleague, Ambassador Shapiro. Not all of them, but many. Uh, and uh, in my brief remarks, I would like to focus on the same issues, approximately on the same issues. Uh, in my view, most sensitive for Israel, first of all. The current Israeli-Palestinian talks and situation in Syria is they are seen from Moscow. Uh, as you know, we closely monitor the Palestinian-Israeli negotiations. Uh, on September 24th, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sergei Lavrov, met with uh, President Abbas on the margins of the UNGA session. Uh, then on September 27th, we discussed this issue at the ministerial meeting of the Quartet. Uh, I think first one in uh, 18, more than 18 months. Uh, where Israeli and Palestinian delegations briefed us on the su uh, substance of the negotiations. Uh, we consider this meeting of the Quartet to be a big step, step forward. A few days ago, Ambassador Virshinian, who is now Minister Lavrov's Special Envoy on Middle East Peace Process, had fruitful meetings here in Jerusalem and as well as in Ramallah and Jericho. And we feel that both Israeli and Palestinian, Israelis and Palestinians are seriously minded to continue negotiations. This makes us believe that uh, there is hope to achieve bearable result, results uh, in the nearest future. Uh, I must say that everybody who is involved in the process is fully aware how uneasy it is to reach a two-state solution via negotiations that deal with all final status issues. It is a very complicated goal to find compromise on this, those uh, sensitive issues. Uh, I must say also that we traditionally pay a great attention to the security of Israel. Uh, and we do understand how difficult will it be to find common ground on these issues of final status. But we have we know that both sides will have to go a long and windy road until the compromise is reached, but the, we believe it's doable. doable sorry. Um, uh, Russia also pays great attention to the future of Jerusalem, which is one of the key issues that is to be discussed during negotiations. Uh, and. Uh, we must take into consideration that the main principle should be observed, free in and unimpeded access to the, for the believers uh, to different, of different confessions to the holy places. Our country has historical connections to the Holy Land and is interested in taking most active part in shaping Jerusalem's destiny. Uh, we express our full support to foster achievement of agreement between Palestinians and Israelis. Uh, I understand that the United States and Secretary Kerry are currently undertaking intensive efforts for this and we will be ready to contribute to this process uh, through the Quartet and in cooperation with the Arab League as it, is, it, as it has been recently agreed in New York. Uh, the second but not less important issue uh, is the situation in Syria. As you know, Russian diplomacy works around the clock and find a proper, to find a proper solution. In close coordination and mutual efforts with the, our American colleagues and with the support of other members of the UN, UN Security Council, we succeeded to work out and adopt a resolution in support of the document approved by the Organization of, of the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. 
in the, matter, in the matter of elimination of reserves of chemical weapons in Syria. These decisions are already being implemented. The elimination of components of chemical weapons has already begun. Uh, I would like to stress that the Security Council resolution imposes a responsibility for the implementation of the decisions not only on the Syrian government, but also on the opposition groups. It also requests that all countries, especially Syrian neighbors, Syrian neighbors, should avoid any action which might contribute to chemical weapons or their components getting into the hands of the non-governmental subjects. Uh, as to Russian position in respect to the chemical disarmament of Syria, we are satisfied with the development of this process. We have no reason to believe that the perfect cooperation currently demonstrated by the Syrian government will change in any way. Uh, and the Russian part will do any, everything necessary uh, in its con context with Damascus to further contribute, to further continue with such cooperation without delays. Um, we must not forget about other aspects of the Syrian crisis. We are concerned about the humanitarian situation in the country and Syrian refugee camps in other countries. We welcome the recent statement of the Security Council Chair, which outlines the tasks of the international community to provide humanitarian aid to Syrians. Uh, of course, it is, the situation is quite complex taking into account that many regions of Syria are, are controlled by the opposition. But I'm convinced that while continuing to cooperate with the humanitarian departments of the UN and the International Committee of the Red Cross, the Syrian authorities will be able to find ways of supplying aid to their respective regions. Uh, today we devoted particular attention to the a need for faster transfer to the political settlement in Syria. Uh, we advocate, also advocate holding the International Conference of Geneva II in November. Uh, today we have agreed on the steps to be undertaken to make the government and their position come to this conference ready to fully implement the proposition contained in the Geneva Communique of June 30th, 2012. Um, well, I think uh, I don't want to repeat what Ambassador Shapiro said. <laughs> well, at least we think that uh, Russia and the United States together with the special envoy on Syria, Ibrahimi, and the other parties concerned will closely and responsibly deal with this issue, I mean the convening of the conference. And our joint goal, I'm absolutely sure, is to do everything to assist Syrians in fighting terrorism and extremism. This is a common task for all those who think about the future of this country as a stable, tolerant, multi-religious and multi-ethnic society. And thank you. <laughs>